Hello there Aquarius, how's it going you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly and I'll be doing <clears throat> your reading for you today. Kind of interesting, it looks like, um, well, I don't really know how to really, I'll just get into it, how's that? <laughs> First thing we got here is uh, Soilo and this is the sun. The sun is, uh, is you know, illuminating, it's, you can see. Um, the sun is a little bit different in runes than it is in tarot. So, like in tarot, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. But the sun in uh, Soilo and runes is a little bit different. It's more uh, talking about the benefit of light. And so, uh, it's right next here to to right O in reverse, and it's also next to uh, Othala. So when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about a family member that is not clearly. You can see that your family member is not happy. All right, and so with right O in reverse here. You know, Rido generally talks about transportation and, uh, you know, uh, taking a trip and enjoying your trip. Um, when it's in reverse, it, it kind of warns you not to travel. But I think more so in this reading, Aquarius, I think that this is like an inward journey because I see... Inguas right here, all right, and Inguas is um, it's like another chapter of your life. So one chapter of your life is over, and another chapter of your life is beginning, and that's why you have the Wheel of Fortune right here. You know, um, you're moving on from one part, one cycle into a new cycle, okay. The cycle's always turning, <laughs> all right? And so I don't know what this uh, family member, who, you know, who this family member is that is unhappy, but um, yeah, you know, it could have you up in your head here with the, uh, the Nine of Swords. You know, maybe some of you are worried about money, you know? And I see, you know, the chariot here, and the chariot is talking about taking action and taking charge. And because there's going to be obstacles, and you have Baraka right here in reverse. It's a, it's a great rune. It's a great rune. Um, but in this particular reading, it's talking about obstacles. So you're bumping into obstacles. And what the chariot here is saying is to, uh, you know, keep, keep pushing and don't, don't stop. Uh, just make your conviction that you're going to succeed and keep pressing on and be willing to, uh, to jump through the hoops and do whatever it takes to get past these obstacles and you will succeed. All right. So maybe you've got some something going on, but uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty good read, really. Other than that, just you know, don't plan any long trips, you know, if you can help it. <laughs> but I don't think, honestly, I think this is more of an inward journey, a, a personal journey for yourself. And you know, I would. I would be more inclined to think it was more travel if it was here and it's not there it's here so uh, yeah so you just you know you might be having a, a, a tough time sleeping at night um, or what have you because you're worried about something um, for some of you it could be money it could be a family member it could be a family member but you can clearly see you can clearly see that you know you can see them, so I don't really quite the sun there, so you can see your family member. You know they're 
um, unhappy. So yeah, interesting, interesting read. And for some of you, maybe you're uh, worried about um, some money. You know what I mean? And maybe you're working on a project and and you want to make sure that you know that you succeed but with the chariot like I say you got to take control and be willing because you're going to be jumping in through a lot of obstacles <laughs> all right but I think everything's going to be pretty cool because I mean Baraka is very positive um, Baraka is very positive uh, even in reverse so It's just you got to do things here first before you get to turn that around. So what's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? <clears throat> the Hunter. You know, you guys got the hunter yesterday, didn't you? I think so. That's kind of significant. Somebody got the hunter yesterday. I don't know if it was you. I, I can't remember. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Rely on your own skills to tra traverse the thick forest. you are in to reach your destination you need to follow the tracks left by spirit to claim your bounty which is already prepared and being offered to you do not follow the map drawn by others as they will lead you they will not they will lead you they will not lead you true okay gosh I got it <laughs> I just spit it out right so Basically, um, instead of becoming, uh, instead of that is saying, become the map maker, find your internal compass and use all your senses, including your common sense. So it's also talking about using common sense. All right. So as long as you use common sense and, and you know, you're going to have to take control here, um, Aquarius. That's for sure. Let's get you a moonology card and then. I guess I'll let you guys go. Hope you guys are enjoying today. Looks like you got um, some obstacles here, but uh, like I say, just keep pressing through and you'll, you'll, you'll succeed. What else is going on with Aquarius? First quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. Unleash your kindest self. So be nice. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, it says uh, first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Be humble. All right. All right, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right. Bye for now, Aquarius.